from here, you're gonna keep your legs as straight as possible as you walk your hands towards your feet. Forward fold for three reps. So just hanging your head and shoulders heavy here. Feel that nice stretch through the back of your legs, slowly rolling up to standing. Okay, awesome. For those of you who have trained with me, you've done inchworms before. We have eight. We're gonna start, we're gonna do inchworm to squat. So feet in a squat position. If you're on a mat, it's usually about the distance of your mat. So you're gonna squat first. So add that squat, deep squat, squeeze your glutes up, straight leg, walk your hands to a plank, hold the plank, and walking back, straight legs, all the way up to standing, back to a squat. Awesome. We've got eight of these. So this is two. Squatting it out as deep as you can. It's just your body weight, so you should be able to go nice and low. Hold that plank, keep your hips up. Walking back. This is three. Four. Back to the squat for five. Six. Guys, we've got two more. Just warm it up through the back of the body, your shoulders, your core. All right, guys, last inchworm here. All the way up and squat it out. Okay, good job. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna do a crab reach, so coming down to the mat, opening up through the shoulders, feet are planted hip distance in front of you, hands, fingers are pointing back, Squeeze your shoulders back. We're going to do two hands first, just lifting the hips up. Drive those hips up. Your head can fall back as well. Slowly lower hips hover. Three more. Good. Last two. And last one. All right. Sit your hip completely down. You're going to bring your right hand in front of your face. So your thumb is about six inches from your nose. Square off your shoulders to the front. Let's lift your hips an inch. And on an exhale, drive the hips up. The arm goes overhead. You look down at your hand on the floor. Slowly lower down. Good. Three more. Exhale as you rise. Inhale, hips hover. Last two. And last one. Good, we'll switch sides, guys. So left hand in front now. Square your shoulders back. Let's lift the hips an inch. Exhale, hips up, looking down at your hands. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. These are excellent if you've been sitting a lot, opening up through the front of the body. Good, we got one more. Okay, awesome. One more warm up exercise. It's going to be the front lunge to the side lunge. So come to standing. All right, so let's all start with the left foot forward. So you're going to, I'm going to go this way so you guys can see. So you're going to lunge, lunge, so bend both knees, reaching that back knee towards the ground, side lunge, hips back, front leg is now straight, toes pulled back, okay, so front lunge to side lunge, opening through the hips and the inner thighs, three more.
Good, last one. Okay, let's switch legs. So right leg forward now, hands can be up at your chest. Let's lunge it out. All right, to the side lunge. Good, reach that back knee. Side lunge, reach the hips back. This is four, we got two more. Last one here. Okay, that's the warm up. How's everyone feel? Very good. You guys feel good? Let's see what's going on here. Okay, we've got 19 people on with us. Amazing. I'm just going to grab a sip of water. If you have weights, grab them now. We're going to start the workout. Okay. All right. So we've got five exercises that we're going to do two rounds of, okay, because we got 30 minutes today. Um, and it's a full body. So we're going to start with side lunge. If you have a weight, you're holding it at your chest. You don't have to have a weight, so no big deal. Feet are going to be nice and wide. Toes pointing forward, all right? Same thing as that front lunge to side lunge, but you're staying in a side lunge position, all right? So you're gonna reach, you're gonna bend your knee over to one side, reach your hips back, okay? And then on an exhale, go to the other side. So the farther you sink your hips back, the more you're gonna feel this exercise. Keep going, I'm just gonna go sideways so you can see. You don't want your knee tracking over your toe. You want to reach your hips far, far, far back. All right. Reach as far down as you can where it's still comfortable. We're going to do about 10 each side. This is five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one, guys. Okay, next exercise, no weights. It's a reverse lunge with a hop. So, feet are hip distance. Hands can be at your waist here. So you're gonna reverse lunge, lunge, and then hop up, okay? So that your knee touches your hands. You do not have to hop. So I will actually not be hopping. <laughs> All right, so if you want higher impact, add the hop. Three, we're going to eight, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, you should feel that burn. All through your glutes and your quads, let's switch sides. Okay, so other leg back, hands are at your waist, step it back. Lunge, hop, or just drive the knee up, okay? Working the core. Three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine. Oh, sorry, we're supposed to do eight, ten. Okay, we got two extras. My bad. Okay, next is push ups. Because I have a feeling if we didn't do push ups today, you wouldn't be doing push ups today. Just a feeling. So I'm going to do the modified from my knees. If you're used to doing them from your toes, you should definitely do them from your toes. We're going to do 12. And if you want to push yourself, go to 15. Okay, let's come to our mats. So, hands are just wider than shoulders. You're going to reach your hips forward, squeeze your glutes. You want a nice flat back. All right, you're going to bend your elbows out 
As you inhale, chest towards the mat. Exhale, press. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take breaks wherever you need. Come down to your knees if you need to. Last four. Three, two, and last one. If you're keeping going to 15, keep going. There's three more. Two, and one. All right. Hopefully you guys all killed your push-ups there. I've been on push-ups in forever, and there's so much weight, so those are really hard for me. Uh, we're going to do sumo squat holds now. Okay? So there's a bit of a focus on the inner thigh and glutes today. So again, if you have a weight, this is where you can hold the weight. All right, you're gonna start by standing. Feet are not as wide as the side lunge, but wider than your regular squat. And your toes are pointing out so that when you bend your knees, they chop over your toes. Okay, so without weight or with weight, your hands are at your chest. So you're gonna inhale lower. And you're gonna hold for three, two, one. Squeeze your glutes and up. If you want, add some intensity, pressing up. I already have 25 pounds of weight, so I'm dropping my weight, okay? So, from here, let's go. One, two, three. Make sure you're holding. I can see some of you, so don't come up fast. All right, let's go. Number three, two, one, squeeze and up. You got 12. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Good. One, two, three. Squeeze your glutes. Dig into your heels. Come to standing. We got six more, guys. Forward direct. Good. This is one. Two, three, and up. Last four. Three, two, one, and up. Keep going. Two, one. Last two, my legs are burning. One, two, three, and up. Last one. Two, three, and drive it up. Good stuff. <clears throat> Last exercise is the plank with a shoulder tap. So if you have a mat, grab your mat again. I prefer to do these on your knees. You can do them from toes if you like. So you're gonna come into your plank position again. This time your hands are directly under your shoulders. So not wide and not in a Superman position. Directly under your shoulders, same thing. You want to squeeze your glutes, shift your hips forward. Feeling nice and stable, pull your shoulders down. You're going to tap your opposite shoulder for two seconds. And switch. Shoulder tap. And switch. Keep this going, guys. You're going to want your, your knees are going to want to lift. You're going to want to move your hips. I'm just gonna take a peek at you guys. Check your form. Yes, good. Oops. Okay, keep going. <laughs> okay, everyone looks good. Let's do four more. Okay, last two. That's how long you should be holding it for. It's a two second hold. And last one. And resting. Okay, that's it. Grab some water. We're gonna do one more round of those five exercises. Okay, looks like we have five 
five minutes left, which is crazy. So we're gonna go through them pretty fast, okay? So first one is the side lunge. Again, grab your weight if you have a weight. Feet wide, toes pointing forward. Ready, let's go. 10 on each side, shifting your hip over to the side. And other side for one. Reach those hips back. Two. Really feel that stretch through the inner thighs. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last time, over and over. Awesome. Good stuff, guys. Anyone remember the next exercise? <laughs> it's the reverse lunge and hop. Okay, so feet hip distance. Hands are at your waist. Let's step it back with one leg. Lunge and either hop or just drive the knee up. Two. We're just doing eight. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good stuff. Switch legs. Shake it out a little. All right. Hands at your waist. Let's go. Other leg. Reverse lunge. Down and up. Two. Three, four, five, six, two more, and last one. Awesome, bring it down to push-ups. All right, so we got 12 to 15, knees or toes. Your call, okay? Everybody down in their position. I'm going to do 12 from my knees. Remember, squeeze your glutes and slight pelvic tilt. Ready? Let's go. Elbows up. Exhale up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. If you're going, it's 13, 14, and 15. Good stuff. Okay. Sumo squat and hold. Hopefully that second set of push-ups was easier than the first. Okay, so sumo squats, feet not as wide as your side lunge. Ready? You're going to hold your hands up your chest. And you're going to bend your knees out. Hold for three, two, one. If you have a weight, you can optionally press up. Good. Three, two, one. And up. We've got ten. Three. Two, one, good. Three, two, one, this is four. Are you squeezing glutes every time you come up? Two, one, guys, we've got five more. Let's go, three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Keep your chest up. Just the lower body sinks. Good, last three. And up. Let's go, squat. Three, two, one, and up. Last one. Three, two, one, and up. Okay, the burn. The burn is real. So good, so shoulder taps. Grab your mat again. Okay, coming into your modified plank or your plank, 
Hands directly under shoulders is super important. It takes the pressure or the weight off of the abs, off the core, and your arms are like this. So right under the shoulders. Ready, everybody? Let's go. Tap and hold. And switch. Tap, hold. And switch. Keep this tempo going. We've got about 14. This is six, hold, seven, hold, eight, hold. Are your glutes still on? Are you feeling this in your core? This is 10, and hold. Last four, hold, three, hold, last two, and last one. Okay, awesome guys. Push back into child's pose, knees wide, reach your arms forward. Your forehead can come down to the mat. Okay, great. So we have an extra 10 minutes if you guys want to. That's the workout. I'm gonna do a five minute cool down stretch here. So you're welcome to stay with me on the mat for the next five minutes. Um, the next workout is on Friday. We're gonna do more of a HIIT workout. So a bit more high intensity. I don't know, that was supposed to be low to mid, but I'm feeling the workout <laughs> a lot. But I'm just coming off vacation, so that's just me. Um, and then I will be adding a Monday flow class because you know what, this is for you guys, but it's for me as well. So it's so good to see you guys. We'll see each other three times a week next week for however long this isolation period goes on for, okay? Until we can actually hang out in person. So let's come to the mat if you're staying with me. We're gonna cool down, stretch out. So we'll extend one leg out, the arm come inside that leg, reach the arm up, looking up towards your arm, and just breathing. Let's bring that arm just closer to the ear. Feel that deep stretch through the side body. And folding over your leg, hamstring stretch. Forehead comes down towards your knee. Two more breaths here. All right, let's switch it over. Other leg. Arm comes inside that leg, reaching the other arm straight up, looking up towards your hand. Let's bring just the arm closer to the ear. And folding over the leg. Forehead comes closer to the knee. You just want to fold passively over your leg. Two more breaths. And roll up to seated. Bottoms of your feet together, knees are wide. Holding on to your toes or your ankles, sit nice and tall, deep inhale here. On your exhale, folding forward. Again, head and shoulders become passive and heavy. Inner thigh stretch. You might feel this in the back, the lower back as well, if you have a tight back. Okay, rolling up to seated. Legs straight out in front of you, hands behind you. Let's cross your right leg over your left. Bending your left leg. This is called um, seated. Oh my God, I totally forgot. Everyone knows this, who does my classes. 
Hmm. Someone say it. Anyway, okay, pull your toes back, pull your chest through, press your knee away from your body. Thread the needle, that's it. Seated, thread the needle. Okay, so you should be feeling the stretch in through here, in through the hips. Great stretch for any kind of like lower body workout that you've done. Important not to slouch through or you won't feel the stretch through your, your hips. All right, let's switch legs. Other leg, left leg crosses over above the knee, bend your other leg. Pull your toe back, press your knee away from your body and pull your chest through. Two more breaths here. And release. So just a little upper body stretch to finish. So just come into a comfortable seated position for me that's cross-legged. Arms beside your hips. Inhale, reach up and over, keep your shoulders away from your ears. And on an exhale, over to the other side. Let's do this two more times. One more. All right, come to center. You're gonna reach both arms out to the side. Pull your chest through as you squeeze your shoulders back. On an exhale, hugging your arms, carving out your chest, chin to chest. Good, inhale, open, and exhale, hugging. Two more times. Last one. And we are finito. Thank you guys so much. And sweating with me, that was so much fun. Let's just see how many people showed up. Yeah, we have 18 people. Thank you. Awesome, thank, thank you so much. much. Thanks, Christine. No problem. I'll see you both on Friday. Thank you, yeah, see you Friday. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Christine, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye everybody. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye, bye Christine. Bye, Marilla.